From its inception, Drake has been about people. The hardworking men and women of the UEE. For the first new model under my watch, I want to embrace that legacy. So we look to you, the pilots, for inspiration. The result is the all-new Vulture. Welcome to Little Check Place. Today we'll do something special, my very first ship review. We'll look at the 2023 Drake Vulture and see what all the fuss is about. Is it really the ship its maker claims to be? Made for the player from the inside out as an industrial starter solo ship to help players enter the salvage career? Well, we will look at several different categories, give crates and summarize them in the summary chapter. Every category can contribute up to 10 points to the final summary. But before we get started, some history. As part of the 2017 end of year anniversary celebration, the ship team decided to ask the Star Citizen community which Drake ship they would like to see develop next. The poll offered short descriptions of three possible ships that were being discussed. The entry-level Drake salvage ship, codenamed Vulture, won the poll. The ship was introduced as a specialized salvage ship designed for players to gather and process valuable materials from derelict spacecrafts. It went through a development process that included design, modeling, texturing, animation and testing before finally being released to players as a playable ship with the 318 PDU December 2022. It's worth noting that Star Citizen is still in active development with ongoing updates and additions being made to the game over time. As a result, ships, features and other aspects of the game may be subject to change based on ongoing development and feedback from the game's community of players. The ship is designed to be a single-player salvage ship capable of scanning and identifying derelict ships and then salvaging them for valuable material. It is built around a central salvage module which houses a variety of tools and equipment to help players break down and collect components from derelict ships. It also has a small cargo hold for storing salvaged items. At this time, the official cargo capacity is specified as 12 SCU. Players, however, reported that it is possible to store more items outside the official cargo grid. It's possible that some players might find the cargo grid of the Drake Vulture to be too small for their needs. The cargo grid of the Vulture is primarily intended to store the salvage materials and components that are obtained during salvage operations rather than general cargo. However, if you find that cargo grid is too small, there are a few options that you can consider. First, you may want to consider using a different ship that is better suited to hauling larger amounts of cargo. There are several other ships in Star Citizen that are designed for cargo hauling, such as the Miss Carl series or the Crusader Mercury Star Runner. Second, another option is to use multiple vultures to increase your salvage processing capacity. This can be particularly effective if you are working with a group of players or an organization that specializes in salvage operations. Ultimately, the best option will depend on your specific needs and playstyle in Star Citizen. It's worth experimenting with different ships and configurations to find the one that works best for you. We believe the cargo grid could be expanded to at least 20 SCU. The Drake Vulture's cargo grid can fill up quickly during salvage operations especially if the player is salvaging large or complex components. The Drake Vulture is not a combat-focused ship and therefore does only have two size 1 weapons for defensive purposes. Its primary focus is on salvage. However, players can outfit a ship with different weapons and modules to improve its capabilities, such as upgrading its quantum drive or adding different shield generators. For the purpose of this ship, 
the weapon size is acceptable as well as the placement of those weapons. The Drake Vulture is primarily designed for space flight and its performance in atmospheric flight is not its strongest feature. It is relatively small and lightweight, so which means it can achieve a reasonable level of speed and maneuverability in atmosphere. But it is not as fast or agile as some other ships designed specifically for atmospheric flight. The Vulture's shape and design also contribute to its less than stellar atmospheric performance. Its boxy shape and exposed engines make it less aerodynamic than other ships, which can cause drag and reduce its speed and maneuverability. Additionally, its thrusters are optimized for spaceflight, which means they are not as effective at providing lift and propulsion in an atmosphere. Overall, while the Drake Vulture can fly in atmosphere, it is not the best choice for atmospheric flight or planetary landings. Its primary focus is on salvage operations in space, where its maneuverability and scanning capabilities are more important. It's worth noting that the Drake Vulture has a relatively short range when it comes to quantum travel, so you may need to make multiple jumps to reach your destination if it is far away. Additionally, your quantum travel speed will be affected by factors such as the size and quality of your quantum drive the mass of your ship and any obstacles in your path. Overall, quantum travel is an important aspect of gameplay in Star Citizen and understanding how to use it effectively is key to exploring the vast universe of the game. The Vulture is primarily designed for one crew member. There's one bed plus restroom with shower and toilet. Well, overall, the Vulture is functional and practical so it is designed to meet the needs of salvagers and scavengers in Star Citizen. While it may not be the most luxurious and comfortable ship, it offers a range of specialized equipment and features that make it well suited for its intended role. Additionally, there is a weapon rack and one closet. The Drake Vulture is equipped with a variety of specialized equipment and components that are designed to support its role as a salvager in Star Citizen. Some of the key equipment used in the ship includes the Scraper Tool, a device used to cut into hulls of other ships or space debris to gain access to valuable components and materials, and then second, a tractor beam that allows the Vulture to grab and move salvaged materials from other ships or space debris. Number three, processing equipment that allows salvagers to process the salvage they collect into more compact and valuable materials. And last but not least, a crafting tool. The ship is equipped to use salvage material and convert it into useful items, something Star Citizen has never seen before and is in my opinion one of the best features of the ship. In addition to the specialized tools and systems, the Vulture also has a range of standard ship components, including power plants, shields, engines and thrusters that allow it to operate in a variety of environments and conditions. The placement of the doors and the slow reaction time of the interior doors can be very frustrating. It would be very helpful if the player could open the doors permanently through the ship's controls or buttons on the door. The design of the Drake Vulture's interior, including the placement and operation of its doors, is a matter of personal preference and can be subjective. However, it's worth noting that the Vulture's interior is designed to be functional and efficient for its intended purpose, which is salvage operations. The Vulture doors are designed to provide easy access to the ship's various modules and equipment, while also protecting the ship's interior from the harsh vacuum of space. The placement and operation of the doors may not be intuitive at first, but players can become accustomed to them with practice. The Drake Vulture is a great entry-level salvage ship, despite its cargo limitations. The newly added crafting improves the overall technology rating significantly. The ship's design is heavily influenced by Drake Interplanetary's reputation for building rugged and utilitarian spacecraft. It is a small, maneuverable ship with a distinctive boxy shape and exposed engines. 
Overall, the Drake Voyager is a unique and specialized ship that offers players a new way to make money in the game by salvaging and selling recycled material composites. It is not intended for offensive combat missions, therefore weapon size and type is acceptable. Players still have the choice to swap weapons by investing in a different manufacturer and type using in-game currency. Additionally, the Vulture's cockpit features a variety of complex controls and systems. Players have access to the ship through the cargo area or the side of the ship, which is, in our opinion, the best and fastest way to access the ship, especially if the cargo area is already fully loaded. Overall, the Vulture's salvage-focused design, powerful scanners, maneuverability, rock construction and upgradability make it a highly effective and versatile ship for salvage operations in Star Citizen. The Drake Vulture had a base price of 140 US dollars. However, prices for ships and in-game items in Star Citizen can fluctuate over time and may be subject to change based on various factors such as supply and demand, in-game events and other factors. It's also worth noting that players can earn in-game currency Alpha USC through gameplay and use it to purchase ships and other items in addition to buying them with real money. However, earning enough Alpha UC to purchase a high-end ship like the Vulture can take a significant amount of time and effort, so players may choose to purchase it with real money instead. Well, I hope you liked this video. If so, make sure to click the like and subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below in the comment section if you do have questions, concerns or recommendations. I appreciate your honest feedback. Thanks for watching. See you in the worst and be respectful.